For today's video, I'm going to be doing a small business haul. This is something that has been so, so requested by you all and also something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. In an effort to try and shop smaller whenever I can this year, I thought I would highlight some small businesses that I purchased from recently. These were all mostly purchased on Etsy. Some of these are actually friends, small businesses as well. So I thought that I would kind of mishmash them all together, highlight some of my favorites for you. All of this that is still available Available. I will link in the description box below all of the shops and everything like that, but let's go ahead and jump in I'm so excited my first small business haul. Okay, so I'm going in no particular order straight from the top here This was sitting right on the top of the pile I have two items from this small business and I figured I would go ahead and start out with these because it is a youtuber owned business It is from my friend Lucy Wood and her shop is called gold dust road I've actually had both of these items for a few months now But I thought I would show them in the video because I really genuinely love her style and what she's doing with her small business. I think it's amazing. And so I got two items. I purchased all of this with my own money. The first one is this ringer tee, which we all know I love a ringer tee. A few of you actually have spotted this shirt in the background of some of my videos, but this is a really soft, comfy ringer tee that says rock and roll, good for the soul. These fit a bit oversized, but I got it in an extra large because I wanted to be able to like tuck it into my jeans and just have it be nice and over. I don't know, I, I'm really into oversized tees at the moment. Could be partially because of my body image, could also be because it's loose and comfy. We'll never know. So yeah, this is super, super soft, really good quality. I actually really like that it's kind of not that typical t-shirt material. It's much softer and like a bit more thin, but I prefer that. Like it just feels like a vintage tee. It's got a little bit of like a faded look to it and that's just definitely what I'm into. I know I'm sure she did that on purpose. Like the colors are on point, just everything is mwah. I also picked up, I think this was a separate order. I can't remember, I just love her. I also got a pin, but I can't find it. I put it on a denim jacket like forever ago, so I'm not gonna dig through my closet. It, but I also picked up this cute little tote bag when I do go to like farmers markets and things again This will come in major handy, but this is a cute little tote bag little grocery run bag Actually, it says this is a very important snack run. How cute is that? I believe she has some other colors available and if any of this stuff is still available I'll link it down below I, I know she kind of does limited quantities because obviously she's like a small business Go show some love for Lucy and her YouTube channel in general down below if for some reason you haven't heard of her literally adore her can't wait to go back to the UK and hang out and have a beer and be best mates that's the vision I have in my mind I don't know if she does we'll find out speaking of going to the UK and becoming best mates I feel like I should just get this out of the way as well just like we can do like my two friends and then we can go into people that I don't know but that I'm sure have great businesses as well and these two items are from my friend full bodied Becca on Instagram she's just wonderful I learn a lot from her and she's just a lovely lovely ray of sunshine she is from Scotland and she released merch recently that was all sort of based around diet culture, like anti-diet stuff. And this tote bag that I purchased is everything. And this says diet culture dropout. I thought this was the cutest thing I'd ever seen. These like burgundy wine colored handles, the canvas tote bag. It's really, really soft. It's also got a tag on it that says earth positive. I remember when she was releasing her merch that she talked about all of the dyes in it were vegan. It was sustainably sold. It's ethical. So like I just really really look up to her in that way And I feel like I constantly get questions like why won't you release merch? Like you really need to drop merch and I will be dropping merch in 2021 But I like I have to find out how to do it like this because I was just so blown away and impressed and I love it So yeah, this is the diet culture dropout bag. I can use it for books. I can use it for snacks Obviously I can use it to throw my belongings and when I'm running away for the apocalypse You know what I mean? They're so I'm kidding. Am I? There's so many different uses for tote bags. I literally am obsessed with them. And then when I ordered that bag, which I purchased with my own money, she saw that it was from me, this order. And so she threw in one of the t-shirts that I just absolutely love. And this is an amazing t-shirt that says, all bodies are good bodies. And I could not love this anymore. I opened this package up over on my vlog channel when I was doing Vlogmas a couple weeks ago. And I like literally almost cried. It was just the sweetest thing that she threw this shirt in there. And it has a person in a wheelchair, it has stretch marks, 
parks, it has a pregnant person, like I just love how inclusive it is. And I absolutely agree that all bodies are good bodies and it's just a great shirt that focuses on intersectionality, which I think is really important, especially when you're talking about like body positivity or body confidence, what have you. Um, I love it, I just think it's great. I don't know if she still is making these. I do believe that she will relaunch more in the future, but I am gonna link the shop down below because I think she has a couple more left. Make sure you follow her Instagram for when she does relaunches or if she does another drop. But seriously, love it. Love all the thought she put into it. Merch goals, TBH, honestly, merch goals. The rest is mainly like home decor, but then I have some other random things as well. I'm gonna pull up my Etsy to make sure I list all of the correct shop names. So, okay, I'll actually start with this one because it's kind of funny and it kind of pertains to this ring that I'm wearing right now, which is one of those like dome croissant rings, I guess you could call it. Um, I'm obsessed with them right now. And this is from KJ Studio, K-A-Y-J Studio. And I picked up this ring, which as you can see is quite similar <laughs> to the other one that I have. And this is called the 14 karat dome gold croissant ring. And I ordered this in a size eight and my fingers are just chunkier than that. I kind of wanted to be able to wear it on my middle finger. So what I ended up doing was purchasing a cheaper one on Amazon, which is like probably gonna turn my finger green, but this one does fit on my ring finger. So like that's still a cute look. I love that. But I was kind of like hoping for the middle finger vibe. So I don't know, I might just like switch these out occasionally. It's gonna go really well with the next one that I'll show you, but it's a really beautiful ring. And then to go with it, I decided to pick out this one, which is from Shapes Studio. And this is the 18 karat gold plated bold dome ring. This is just a dome without the croissant. So it's a similar thing, but just like the actual like mini dome. I know that they sell ones that are bigger that have like bigger domes, but I would like to be able to close my fingers. Like I don't really like that whole wearing rings that are so big, you can't close your hands. So I thought that this was perfect. Just really subtle, really beautiful. They're both like, I would say for 14 and 18 karat dipped gold, like it's relatively affordable. They were both around 30 to 40. $40. So it's like, sure, you can buy these Amazon ones, which I did because I was just dead set on having one on my middle finger, but it's not gonna last you as long and these are gonna last me forever, you know? And they're just so beautiful. Next up, while we're still on accessories, I thought I would show you this bracelet that I had made. This is from a shop called Sun Story with an I. If you go on Etsy, you can filter black owned businesses, which I think is incredible and really important. I think it's so something that I never even thought about up until 2020 and that's inexcusable, but I'm really trying to make much more of an effort to shop black owned businesses when I can, and I would highly encourage you to do the same. So I picked up this bracelet, which is my new favorite thing, and this is a beaded bracelet that says Layla. I am that dog lady. And it's got these gold beads and it's just like a really cute bracelet for stacking. And it just sort of reminds me of those like BFF bracelets that we used to make in elementary school, but like a grown up version of it. And I'm really into it. So if you have any ideas for bracelets that you think would go well, as I'm sure you might know, I literally never wear bracelets. It's like a weird thing, um, but I want to start. And so I think that this will be a really good like stacking piece. And I just love it. I love the beads on it. She even asked me if I wanted wanted to do like a little gold bead in between each letter for like a cute accent. And I was like, yes, please. It's just adorable. What more could I want? I have my dog's name on my wrist at all times. Like it's just the best thing that's ever happened to me. It was also only $12 and 14 cents. Like I just feel like a handmade piece of jewelry for under 15 bucks is pretty great. I'm going to keep this forever. It's so treasured already. And now for the rest of this, I believe the rest of this is home decor. Yes, I think it is. So this next piece is from another black owned business called Treatment Co. And I've been really curious about reed diffusers, but I don't really like know that much about them. And so I thought I would try this one out and I got this in the mail, I opened it up, I smelled it and it is divine. So basically it's kind of like an alternative to a candle. I'm sure most of you know what reed diffusers are, but in case you don't, it is a little bottle of like scented, oil liquid. And this is in the scent Lavender Sage. It's a four ounce reed diffuser. And then it comes with these little reeds, these little wooden reeds, and you stick them in it. And then it soaks up into the reeds and it just puts off a really like subtle, 
yet delicious smell in your space. And lavender sage is like the perfect scent. It just smells super clean, like herby, kind of like a spa. And I'm really, really into that. I might do it in the background of this room or in our bedroom, I'm not sure, but it's gonna smell so good. Okay, next, this actually isn't um, home decor, but it is another black owned business. And I just had to show it because it is one of the best things I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you and then we'll talk about it. So this is a keychain that I purchased from a shop called Crafty Little Dreams and it is a keychain that has chicken fingers and french fries on it. What more could you ever want? They have so many amazing things in the shop, like everything from food to like candy. It's just so incredibly well done and there's so much detail. Like how cool that I have a keychain that has chicken fingers and fries. I'm almost like scared to put it on my keys because I don't want it to break, but like I need the world to see my chicken fingers and fries. It just makes me really happy. The lady was so super nice. She was like really overwhelmed with orders at Christmas time and was so communicative and so sweet. So yeah, highly recommend this shop. Catch me out in the world post COVID with my freaking chicken fingers and fries keychain, living my best life. Okay, now back into home decor, we have a couple more pieces. This first one here may seem very simple, very basic, but I'm actually kind of obsessed with it. And this is a like crystal candle holder. I've become obsessed with the twisted candle thing that everyone's doing on TikTok and on YouTube. And I feel like it's a little late, but I feel like I still kind of want to do it. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a series of me trying to DIY home decor things or thrift flips or whatever you want to call it, but not clothes. Like I still want to do clothes, but let me know if you would also additionally like to see home decor because I would love to do some cute little like twisted pastel candle in this. That's the vision that I had for it. So I think this was just like purchased from a thrift store and it was sold from the shop called The Cut Silhouette. It was $13.57, which is pretty pricey. But again, it's like you have to think about the curation of it. They're going out and thrifting it. It's still a lot more inexpensive than if I were to buy it new and it is secondhand, which is pretty cool. So yeah, just like a standard crystal candle holder. Can't say much about it, but I am happy I have it. Next, that kind of goes with it. Like speaking of the twisted candle thing, this isn't exactly that vibe, but it is similar. And this is a pair of twisted, these are like a more natural kind of like boho vibe. So not the like pastel sort of like 80s inspired like TikTok thing I'm looking for, but I ordered these because I thought they would look really cute throughout our house. So this is just a beeswax candle. So this is from the shop BG Soap and Honey. This was $11.54 for two of these candles, which I think is pretty good. You can definitely see that they're like handmade. You can see the wick at the bottom. In fact, let me see if it fits in this little thing. Oh, it does, it fits. Like, look how cute that is. That is adorable. Next to a plant, it would look really cute. So yeah, I think that'll go really well with this sort of like vintage boho thing that we have going on throughout the rest of our house, but I love these. The last home decor item is this little baby. I'm so happy I got it. This is a shell vase, really pretty kind of like pinky terracotta color. And you can just put a few loose flowers in there. I'm gonna do dried flowers. We have some dried lavender that I think would look really cute. And this is from the shop called Beachy Mums. It was $43.50. So the most expensive thing that I got, look how gorgeous this is. I think they have this in like a lilac lavender color as well. It would be cute on any dresser, any nightstand, any shelf, like it's very versatile. You could even honestly just like put it on the shelf the way it is. And like, it's a cute little accent piece, like put it on top of a book or something. And I think it's worth the money because I'm gonna have it forever. So really happy with it. Just look how cute this is, it's perfect. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, definitely let me know in the comments below if you have any small businesses that you want me to shop from. Maybe I can do like a subscriber small business videos. I know my friend Sierra Schulte is the queen of that. I love watching those videos from her. Let me know what you want to see down in the comments below, but I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.